An epiretinal membrane is a membrane or scar tissue that lines the back of the eye, overlying the retina, which is the nerve tissue at the back of the eye. An epiretinal membrane can cause poor vision, either blurring of vision or distortion when lines, straight lines, uh, look crooked. Without treatment, epiretinal membranes usually gradually progress and the central vision can get more and more impaired with time. Some of the common symptoms that patients may notice are difficulty reading or difficulty judging distances. Because sometimes it only affects one eye, patients may not notice they have a problem until they cover one eye and look out of the affected eye. The most common cause of epiretinal membrane is aging, and unfortunately, we don't have a treatment for that. But there are sometimes other secondary causes for epiretinal membrane, and they include things like diabetes, inflammation in the eye, retinal tears or detachment, or blockages of the veins at the back of the eye. Your doctor will let you know if you have one of these secondary causes of epiretinal membrane. The only way to treat epiretinal membrane is with surgery. Unfortunately, there's no drops or medication that can help with this. Without treatment, epiretinal membranes often will progress and gradually impair the vision more and more with time. So the decision of whether or not to operate on an epiretinal membrane is a discussion which you need to have with your eye surgeon. Epiretinal membrane surgery is performed in a hospital, but often it can be done as a day procedure where you don't necessarily need to stay in overnight. The operation is done under local anesthesia where the eye is numbed and put to sleep so you don't see or feel anything. So you should not have any pain with this surgery. Often the anesthetic doctor will give you some sedation through a drip in your arm to keep you nice and calm. The operation usually takes between 30 to 60 minutes and in that time you need to lie nice and flat and still for your doctor. The operation to remove an epiretinal membrane is what we call a vitrectomy. In a vitrectomy, we remove the vitreous jelly or the jelly inside the eye and then we go inside the eye and we peel off the membrane with tiny little micro forceps. After the operation, you may notice a small bubble in the lower part of your vision because it's often that we will put some air into the eye to replace the removed jelly. Removing the jelly from inside the eye is not something that is harmful for the eye. The eye can survive very well without jelly in the eye. The jelly that's removed will gradually be replaced by a liquid or saline solution that the eye itself makes. One of the side effects, however, is that you will develop a cataract usually within a year of the surgery, unless you've had the cataract surgery already performed. Many patients who have epiretinal surgery will notice an improvement in their vision, but it's not instantaneous. It can take several months for that improvement to be noticed. It's important to realize that just because you have epiretinal membrane surgery, it doesn't mean that the vision will go back perfectly to the way it was before, only that there often will be an improvement. Whether you require epiretinal membrane surgery or not depends on the severity of the epiretinal membrane, how it's affecting your vision and your visual needs. So it's important to speak to your doctor to decide together whether surgery is required. For more information on how to look after your eye after you've had retinal or vitrectomy surgery, please refer to the video on post-operative care following retinal surgery.